Hi guys. Oh, hi Helen. Hi. I'm going live tonight with Michael Wills. Very excited uh, to have him as my buddy to chat with tonight. So I'm just waiting for him to log on and then we'll all get together and we'll chat. And there he is. He's already there. <laughs> chat. Yes. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Yes. <laughs> Lovely. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. What's, what's up with the hair? What's up with the hair? Oh, yeah. this? <laughs> Nothing. So you it's like up. It? like that i like yeah. it yeah yeah and it's shaved here mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it's this uh new look i'm going for it's the uh you know the viking look so <laughs> <laughs> get, uh, you know you see, it suits you it suits yeah, you i mean yeah. sometimes you know you got to change it up like i don't like tattoos i don't think i can get a tattoo so i gotta change my oh. hair every year yeah yeah excellent yeah. well yeah. well welcome welcome i'm i'm so excited to have you um as my guest buddy for tonight yeah. Yeah. and uh there's a few people already who've come on uh, i don't you've you've helped me promote it hopefully your friends come on too yeah hey everybody <laughs> cheers guys cheers. oh <laughs> i'm gonna crack some i didn't know if this was like professional <laughs> Or go, go, go and get, get one. No, that's all right. I got, I'm trying I got Canadian. Water. What's I that, beer? Water. No, it's just water. Water. I'll have wine after. I have I have water, too, as a chaser. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Pour me a glass, you know? It's <laughs> a chat between friends, and, you know, whoever wants to come along and get to know us more, it, sure. they're more than welcome, right? Yeah yeah Absolutely. yeah yeah so um you're good you're coping with covid yeah, <laughs> yeah i'm coping with covid yeah yeah <laughs> it's been nuts but uh it's it's been good you know it's you get this like isolation time to like lock it down and try to really hone out some work and really push for it but still yeah. like there's some days you're just not inspired and you're just like, oh, I just want to lay in bed because everyone else is being lazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got that like ebb and flow. Like, Well, yeah. how was it for you like early March, like early COVID? <laughs> yeah. Um, it was, it was like, it felt like a hit, like a personal hit, you know? Like, yeah. Was, oh, like everyone's in this and like, then you can't share your feelings or your thoughts with people. And you're like, wow, this, this is a really lonely time. Like, it's like, even like as artists, you, you're in your studio, you know, at, alone, but like, it felt like, like the world was just eerie. Like it was so weird. So quiet. And then yeah. you, you live in Toronto too, right? Yeah. So, so it was really, really quiet for you. Yeah. Just to see the the see the streets like there's nobody on them, no traffic, nothing. It was so eerie. So I was like, I was like in my mind, I was like, oh, I gotta start maybe buy a gun, prepare for the apocalypse. I don't know. But <laughs> instead of painting, like painting won't get you anywhere. Like <laughs> yeah. So, well, yeah. Uh, we have a few people on on online now, so I just want to yeah. introduce um you to everybody in the world the thing is with my live i i get a lot of people who come on live but mm -hmm. but most or the chunk of it is after so okay. um you know and it's, it's it's saved in my instagram uh live so there's so much more that that will will uh, watch our live so Absolutely. just want to introduce you to everyone that mike ta -da! yeah You've been exploring bold colors for a long time, and um, you've you've gone into abstraction for a few years, and um, but your recent trip to Paris has changed your outlook and has given you a new um, series to work on and a new um, 
a new focus probably and you'll have to tell everybody about that because even i am eager to find out <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, but prior to that you were a pro hockey player for 20 years yeah. and you devoted your time and and practice and life really to hockey mm -hmm. until you had um you had an accident i i i assume and you had like concussions and and it was like uh, the Lord or the universe or God was telling you that maybe your path is towards the art, perhaps. Yeah. You have to yeah. tell us more about that. It's, yeah. it's, um, it's, it's, so, it's so nice to see that. Uh, it's a big change and, and, and probably a lot of soul searching happened <laughs> yeah. in, in the process and yeah. a lot of... Um, yeah, and you just had to trust, right? You just had to trust in faith, and you know everything's going to be all right. And and here you are. <laughs> yeah, still alive. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So for everybody, I met Mike. Um, I I met you just in January, February. I know. At the CN Tower, we right. were promoting the Canadian Landscape Artist of the Year, right. and we painted. You were behind me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sort of kind of, right? Yeah, yeah. And we painted at the CN Tower and we were looking at the massive Toronto skyline. And it was it was so much fun. But then COVID happened. So I feel like I've known you longer. Yeah. Even, even though it was just a few months back. Yeah, it was it was so crazy. Like that happened with CN Tower. I went off to Paris, came back, saw you again at the artist project. You had right. Your and then, like, boom, COVID hit. Boom. And like, what is this? You know, like, the world just, like, flipped on it's itself. So, it's almost, it's yeah. soft. And then everybody just had to woo, right? Because, yeah, yeah this is, this is, uh, I mean, COVID is, is a pandemic. So it's, um, yeah, so we had to, we had to do something to help uh, stop the, uh, uh, well, to help curve, curve yeah. the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stay so inside, us, help everybody. Yeah. So tell us about the change. You're. I, I want to know about the change between you and ha uh, when hockey and painting, and then <laughs> from abstraction to what you're doing now. Okay. Yeah. So there's uh, that. So yeah, I was a, a like a pro hockey player. I've played like over 20, 25 years in playing and like growing up and then uh, went to college down the States, took my degree in art, actually got a scholarship in hockey, took it in art and painting. Wow. Uh, yeah. Panicked a little bit because I was like, oh, I'm not going to be an artist. I can't make it in there. Uh, got a graphic design degree. Um, yeah. So my BFA is in that, but I also was you know, a hockey player. And then jumped to being pro, played in the minors for a bit, played over in Europe. Had a, had a great time with that. And too many concussions led to just sitting at home uh, for an, a period of isolation, actually. It was kind of funny. Uh, the concussions very, like, they mess with your, your brain quite a bit and, and your, your thought process. So I had to stay home with a blindfold on for about four or five months. Oh boy! I did. Must have been hard. Yes, and it was, it was really like one of those like soul searching moments where, you know, maybe hockey wasn't my route that the universe or God or whatever one believes in. Um, you know, I believe in my God, and and it was it was a tough moment because uh, he just shook up my world and. And it was like, what do I do now? And so I had this inclining to paint in my heart. And so I started painting and then things started to just roll. Uh, it was really good. The first year, everyone was jumped on board with this crazy abstract uh, explosion. City, paint. City. Yeah. You're kind of doing like city and then, and then non-objective abstract and yeah. then a lot of portraiture within the abstract yeah right and yeah it 
it's been a really cool experiment uh, throughout these years because, you know, I, I, I didn't want to limit myself just yet. I wanted to kind of find like what you have found, you know, through your process of what, 20 years of, or more of painting, right? So yeah. like, you have found your niche. I don't think I have found mine quite yet. Like I'm just jumping all over, but you're, you've like hit it on, on the head and you're, you're going with it. Right. So I want to get to that place. And yeah, so art has been a huge success and a huge challenge as well. Many ups and downs as an entrepreneur. And, you know, you look for those, like, those graceful moments of like, I got to exhibit a piece in Paris, you know? Yeah, that was, that was so cool. Like, that's the first time I met you. It's like, you're going, you were leaving in like two days. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's pretty funny. Like I, I, I know of the art world in Toronto and the surrounding area and I have keep meeting new people and I just love it. And some people are like, who are you? Like, I don't even heard of you yet. It's like, yeah, I know. I'm just some upcoming, like, hole in the wall kind of guy. But it's no, it's, no, you, you yeah. that's when you quit hockey. When did you quit yeah. hockey? What, so like, I, how many years ago now? Yeah, I retired in 2016. So it was four years. Oh, so it's yeah. four years. Are you still friends with your hockey friends? Are you still oh, friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still friends with them all. They, they, uh, we all like still get together once in a while. A couple of buddies had a couple of weddings and it was yeah. good to see them all. And yeah, it's been, it's been nothing but uh, good to just reconnect with them over the years. Um, they're still doing their hockey things and, and, and whatnot. And then they're like, Oh, there's Mike, the painter. He's off in the left field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's, so uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, it's almost like extremes, right? You've got oh, the yeah. really tough, tough kind of guy hockey yeah. and then yeah. you've got the other side of you which is more um more intuitive and and uh more spiritual you know yeah. being yeah. an artist right mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so they're like okay like willsey's doing his thing you know we'll leave him alone but we'll say hey <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know. But they're but buying it, your work, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, I keep getting <laughs> like things all the time, like, oh, you know, like we gotta buy some of your work, and people <laughs> have purchased it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it comes kind of full circle um, that way, and uh, yeah, it's just really really neat that both worlds have kind of collided, and I'm like the segue that allows macho athletes to kind of enjoy art right and right, so right. they get to see me touring all the time and also like the artist project seeing you and your art and everyone else's they kind of get to tap into that world and go oh that's really neat like so and then my artist friends you know get to see the hockey side of, of the athletic side of me too so yeah do you still play mike do you still play I play men's league still, and yeah, it's no no hitting or anything. No, it's wreck, right? Wreck. Yeah, I, yeah. I totally wish it was still hitting and fighting and stuff. I just... <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've gotten too many scars and concussions where I actually had to have surgery on my eyes to. Oh my! Oh yeah, so that's that was with the whole new abstract color kind of phase. Oh I my gosh! All new colors, yeah. Wow. And but, how, how is your vision right now? I mean, okay now. Oh, it's amazing now. Like before yeah. the, like the doctor was saying, like, you're going blind. Like, oh. you know, everything was fuzzy. I couldn't, couldn't see properly headaches every day. And he just said, because of punches in the face, concussions, I've got like a puck here. Oh. So I like stitch it, you know, boards. Oh my things right so had to link them back together fix them and then that abstract color series was was a was was, a hit. came about from that yeah, yeah. So. so now you went to paris mm -hmm. when i met you that that yeah. february and yeah. i'm like holy guacamole he's going yeah. to paris and and you were with actually some friends of mine kate taylor and yeah. helen and yeah. so that was kind of neat kate's yeah. gonna be my Super guest cool. next month yeah Oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. She's awesome. 
Yeah, Ellen's she's awesome. she's a real real. Um, she's an abstract painter and also an entrepreneur, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. She Good. she does really well for herself, and same yeah. with Ellen. They yeah. They, Two sisters, they just the one two punch there. It's it's good to see. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, but tell they, me about Paris before I before I get all excited here. <laughs> yeah. Well Paris was amazing to get to exhibit a piece at such a young age at a salon that has been running for like o over like hundred and fifty years. Years, now. yeah. It, it, it was such a an amazing experience because you got to be at the Grand Palais and it's it's last year before it's being rebuilt and uh, re refurbished. Um, so just to have that on your belt and your resume was was amazing. Nonetheless, like just to visit Paris and and, and enjoy where art really kind of comes from too. Like yeah. it's one of the mecca between oh, Italy yeah. and and. and yeah right, right yeah so much history there's so much uh liveliness to the city because everything there they enjoy and it's just art like between their cakes their like their wines their they're they're just passionate people and that just in like sparked like in and like ignited something new in me to actually paint the one behind me actually so there's a lot of figurative there and yeah. uh, I was like, oh, I have to tap into this and to see if I can actually paint like water and silk and just it's things like that, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Can you see uh, the comments there, Mike? Yeah, There's I did. There's a question so, for you from Denise. Yeah, Denise. Uh, so I found, uh, I actually signed with a, uh, with my art agent at the time, uh, her name was uh, Helena uh, at Eureka Artists. And one of the shows that she always puts on every year is uh, is the show um, in Paris. And then she does a couple other shows in China and around Europe as well. But uh, luckily, you know, I got to go to China because, or uh, sorry, Paris, because China didn't work out in the fall. So I was supposed to go there never ended up going because of the riots and what was happening there oh yeah 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 and like all the terrorist attacks on the, the trains and, and stuff they had a like huge lockdown and then right they're like, all right we're going to we're going to paris so i was like perfect yeah. i think i always wanted to go there it was off my bucket list so yeah boom. right so you were with a delegation like how were they all under the same agent were they yes. all under Helena? Yeah. 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 They were all Helena. So then, it was a great and experience. And then, uh, so you were about 10? How many were you? Um, There was about 8 to 10 of us, yeah, in this one, like, area booth. It was a massive booth, uh, but it, it had enough space that we had to show one piece. And, uh, yeah, it was it was a great honor and a great experience, like, um, just to have that in your resume and, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a show to per se sell, um, but more just like have that nostalgic like piece, like, oh yeah, you know, I have that in Paris. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's more like a, uh, um, it, it's just, it, it's really nice to have on your resume that yeah. you actually were in a very prestigious show, yeah. but, um, yeah. Selling is not, it's not the main yeah. goal. It's more exposure, I would believe. Absolutely, yeah. And it's getting more. perhaps uh, just uh, contacts and maybe possibilities yep. of, yep. you never know, right? Exactly. It, for me, I, I would take every opportunity right. and because you never know what's out there for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, yeah, so, the, for you, well, like um, the Ars Project, like that's a massive selling point for you. Right, like you have, like, that's one of the biggest like art shows in in Toronto. So, for you, like, that's exposure plus selling, right? So, how how did yeah. you get into that? So, what the artist project? Yeah, 
Yeah, well, artist project you have to apply for, it's juried. So there are uh, jurors who decide if you are up to par to, to be included in the show. And then you get approved. And then you decide on your booth. Um, for me, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, it's really a great opportunity to, to get to meet so many people from all over, you know, yeah. um, the greater Metro Manila, no, greater Metro Toronto. <laughs> I'm going back yeah. to the Philippines now. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's just, yeah. it's just, uh, I really, I really enjoy that. And hopefully next year, um, we'll be back there. Yeah, well, it's, it's such a strong You have show. to apply, Mike, apply I for will, next yeah. year. I will, yeah, I gotta get it. Yeah, I'd love to get a body of work like this and go, but I, I still mm -hmm. need to keep mm -hmm. working on it. Like, it, you need to have a strong, you know, a strong portfolio, right? And I'm yeah. not quite there yet. I believe in my heart. Mm -hmm. um, if I had like eight of these, for sure, you know, mm -hmm. I would definitely yeah. do it. Yeah. But like you, for some reason, you can just pump out like work like crazy and it's <laughs> all good. You know, your stuff is just like colorful and, and dynamic and you know, so much energy and you can just bump, 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 pump, pump those out. Okay. And there, still there are also like, <laughs> there are also like uh, the ones that get on the cutting board and become bonfire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I've had those too. Like <laughs> Oh, you're just like, okay, right, let's set this up. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been actually at a at a good flow good. this COVID. Yeah. That everything I've I've painted seemed to have that feel. So I I'm onto something. It's 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 something. I guess I'm just uh, I'm just relaxed. Perhaps I'm I'm at peace. Yeah. No, I, I'm not. My mind is not drifting into other other things yeah, yeah. yeah. So, do you have like a process you go through um with within this covid or is it different from or is it the same from what um what? i think it's the same i i usually start with a sketch first and um it usually is from our trips we go camping a lot okay so it, it i have a reference that i would refer to and then i would sketch an idea from it and then I would choose my colors and then go from there. Um, sure. As to process, I always have to have incense. Oh, in wow. Studio. So yeah. I always have to sage. Yeah. I don't know. I sage my studio first before I start. <laughs> it, it, it's just something about clearing yeah. the energy. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. So yeah. That, that I do that. Okay. So talk, talk to me about that painting. Yeah, that, so that behind... stunning painting that was yeah. in our poster. <laughs> so that's behind... crazy. Yeah. So yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's crazy because I know you as an abstract artist. So I this know. is like wow. And then I have the ability to do that too. So yeah. it's kind of nuts. Yeah. I for some reason uh, Paris inspired me to just paint like women because of how sensual and beautiful like they are yes. they are like of course just to see so many paintings that were just oh. amazing yeah. so yeah i got to really dive into like the hair in the water you and know. flesh tone too yeah the flesh and, you know. and the silk and all yeah. the curves and yeah. all the the translucency yeah. that you were able to achieve yeah That's like crazy this. mike yeah, thank you. Crazy like, good, eh? Crazy yeah. good. <laughs> Crazy good, yeah. <laughs> this is actually like my favorite part is like the actual like silk like in the water and just I don't know, like there's just something about it that just I, I don't know, like I saw so many different levels of painting there like between Versailles and all the museums um, you know, and the Louvre and it was like I have the ability to do this. I know I can do it. I just, yeah. I need to take my time. Um, I didn't limit myself, which was great. Sometimes as an artist, like you limit yourself with a painting of like, I gotta get it done. I gotta get it done. I gotta get it done. And this, I just 
wanted to enjoy for, for myself. I think it was a new discovery just in, because the fact that like, sometimes you paint when you don't want to paint or you're under pressure. Right. If you have a show. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, you know what? I've got nothing going on. COVID is the perfect time to just unwind Mm -hmm. and let loose and just, if you don't want to paint, you don't have to. Yeah. And so there was right. all pressure was off and I had the ability to actually, you know, within two months, three months, put this out. So I was pretty happy with myself. I think like, it's like, yeah, it's amazing, Mike. So how, how right. has the reaction been on that painting? Yeah. Everyone, was like, <laughs> everyone's like, wow. Like I did not like know you can paint. Later. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they're they're like, oh, your abstract stuff is cool, and we really love that. But I think like you're like realism painter, like you're you're trying to be, and like you have that ability, so why not? And they they enjoyed it like so much. So well, when you of- were were you in when you were in school though, were you more like a realistic painter? Yeah. Um. So I. I had schooling in technical, like you had to do art, like drawing and painting, but you had right. really good teachers um, in Oswego State and they, they made me do crazy, crazy amount of detail work and to try to push myself to become like a realism painter. Yeah. But then, and my last year, they wanted me to break the mold and then kind of discover what painting I want to do. They almost like gave you the skills and the foundation to become a certain type of artist. But then it was like, okay, let's break that and see where you go. So yeah. it was really cool to see that. Yeah, um, and I'm glad you did that. You started with more realistic stuff and then you went extreme opposite side of the scale, which yeah. is more more um you know uh non-objective abstract and just diving into colors and layers and textures and splatters and yeah. all the things you've done and then now coming back to yeah to your first it, it's coming all full circle mike <laughs> yeah i know it's, it's kind of great yeah. and mm-hmm. i think it was a great experimental uh like years of like figuring out like just like the process of painting, like the pressure of the brush, the stroke, things like that. And then even with palette knife work or just trying to, instead of like conforming to a box, just blow it out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you just see where you can go with things. Right. Because you can right. always come back to something like this. But then your skills might evolve or or become more technical because of the abstract and you might find like a solution to do say water like silk and water right right and before I wouldn't have that maturity or that that skill level back in the day I'd be like how do I do this well by experimenting through all these things then you can come back to that yeah I think we, as artists, I think that is the growth process. You have Mm -hmm. to really experiment with different techniques. And then because you're learning anyway, and you're, and you're, and you're failing as well. And every time you fail, you learn more. And because you won't learn if you're, you're not failing. (laughs) You have have to have the the downs and then, you know, you've learned from that. And then it translates into what you're doing now. As you can see in my art here, it is landscape, right? Yeah. But, um, it is abstracted, especially mm-hmm. around here. Yeah. So like people broke it down into like color shapes, and I love color. that. Yeah. So I I did dabble with abstract, and I love it. I love abstract, yeah. and sometimes it just gets my mind um, uh, going in the flow. You get into a zone for some reason. And yeah. it's it's unexplainable, but you have to feel it kind of thing. You have to feel that energy. And then yeah. with that abstract, it translates back to, I'm doing water differently now, uh, yeah. totally different than what I've done 
maybe just a year ago. Right. Yeah. And, and, and that's where you, you like people that follow you get to see that process because you were so technical so many years ago and uh -huh. then you're breaking it down, kind of loosening it up, uh -huh. molding it uh -huh. to evolve into something much more mature and, 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 and like, like more detail, but there's like, it's just broken down and it's becoming yeah. your style and, and people get to watch that and it's like yeah so, to me, it's so cool because i can see as an artist your start process of this and then your finish end and like the painting behind you is beautiful oh thank you yeah. <laughs> thank you've, you you've hit the reflection of the water so neatly but yet so loose yeah I and mean, when you look at it up close it's it's an abstract yeah. It's just a square, it's yeah. a rectangle, yeah. but when you look at it far, then it it, yeah. it it completes the picture. I like that. So, And that I took, of course, from my hero, who is Claude Monet. Oh. And, of course, I love how he, yeah. he's so abstracted, too. Like, his <laughs> work from yeah. up close yeah. is like shapes yeah. and, 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 and uh, color color that are playing together and then when you go far yeah. it's like oh my god that's the sunset like it's crazy what's your favorite gallery in yeah. paris yeah what what was oh your... um <laughs> i um i'd have to say the musée d'orsay um yeah that's my I, favorite too yeah for some reason like i that was my first one i, I ever went to uh, yeah. actually no i lie uh second uh the P <laughs> petit palais was right across from the grand palais so i walked right. in there and that's when i started crying i was like oh my goodness i'm actually here and this is like this is real like it's you get to see like the frescoes, yeah, on yeah. on the ceilings and, and the art, and I was like, "This is a thing!" Like, and so, <laughs> um, but then the Musée d'Orsay, like I studied all those paintings in art history in classes, and then ten almost what, yeah, five years later, um, even ten years when I was in high school, uh, I got to see them realistic, like. They were there, like you could touch them. They, like, yeah, with just a photo, like you were like, oh, yeah, that's right this. there. Yeah, yeah, and it's such a dream come true. Oh yeah, yeah. And if you like, I go again in a heartbeat. Like, oh. Like, oh yeah. I'm like, so what was your favorite music? Like, let's say that or say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, there's yeah, just something about like, it. It's intimate because it's so small, it's but smaller. there's so many paintings yeah yeah but Where there's the another was gallery like... that we went to it's it's further down I i don't know if it's arrondissement 10 or something and it yeah. had it's like a house it's okay. a smaller place and it had like the main level was all of claude monet oh really and, and uh i think he it, it was just in his estate yeah. and then uh whoever you know, and, and then I think it was just donated to that place, to that gallery. Okay. So, but yeah. that, it's sort of like a secret yeah. place. So it was yeah. like, oh my God, mm -hmm. I can't. That's when I went and I, I looked at Monet's painting of the sunset. Yeah. Um, I was looking at it from close and I go, you know what? I think he really had really bad cataracts at this time. <laughs> and, then, and then I walked away and then I went went downstairs and then when I went up I looked at the same painting and I go oh my god I did that like, oh. <laughs> that's yeah. why it's so stunning <laughs> right yeah yeah For some reason either the angle changes the light hits it differently and you're like whoa you know whoa yeah 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 I... yeah you just uh yeah they're they're like our our heroes right yeah yeah oh yeah French impressionism you know, Italian Renaissance, like the Baroque period to like, oh. So where do you want to, where do you, 
where do you want to take this painting? Are you going to do another one? Is that a, a, a friend of yours? Where did you get the image? Yeah, actually, um, uh, April, uh, we were talking online uh, through Instagram. Actually, that's the way we kind of connected. And uh, I was like, wow, like, like this photo of you is very stunning. And okay. like, that was actually months before Paris. Oh. And because I saw women and, and, and in my mind, I was taking notes, drawing it, breaking it down, how to, you know, paint this. Right. And I use this photo of you and she's absolutely. And so I got to do that. And then I have many others with, for friends uh, that I know, musicians, uh, bartenders. <laughs> yeah. So I just, That's I want to do a whole series of like, you know, bringing back the old of yeah. what you see in museums, but do it in a modern kind of theme. Modern way. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah. want to do that. And uh, I, yeah, I have a bunch of reference photos from friends and other people. And I can't wait to do a whole series of this. Like it might be eight to 10 paintings. Who knows? Right? It could be yeah, more. Yeah, sure. So. Now this painting behind you, is that in oil or is that acrylic? That's oil actually. Yeah. Yeah. Some, so are you are people... you in love with oil again? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It is so forgiving and so beautifully like smooth. You can just rework it and you really get that realistic perspective with oil where if you you can't with acrylic until you master acrylic. Like until you get it. Like I know some acrylic painters and once they like hone yeah. in their skill wow yeah. they're, they're just as good as oil painters if not better like right especially yeah. portraiture right it's once it yeah. dries you can't get that same uh no. hue yeah for some reason right yeah yeah, yeah. so we and, got another question from denise because yeah. denise is a realist uh, painter okay. so yeah. did you use live models in school i did i did yeah i, I was did a lot of uh, new drawings and live models and stuff like that with drapery. And, and uh, yeah, it was really interesting uh, at the time because I was after practice, like they <laughs> were the bunch of guys and they're like, Oh, like we're going to go home. You want to like grab some uh, dinner? I'm like, no, I got to go to class or what are you doing? And I'm like, Oh, live drawing. And then, they see me like <laughs> drawing these like women and men and they're like what the heck is this like <laughs> so yeah i did a bunch of that stuff uh and it was it actually taught me to do like the technical of of knowing a body and looking at the details and and drapery and and lighting and stuff like that so that really helped yeah mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. yeah yeah, 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 for sure. Now, when you played hockey, and then they're all going for dinner. Yeah. So, did how long did you have before you went to life drawing? Oh, like seconds. Like, I had to schedule my class times because my class times were three hours, and they're taking like their business courses for like an hour. So they have the rest of the day, right? So they do all their classes in the morning, have the whole, whole afternoon off and go, go practice where my day was like, start at like 9 a.m., like wake up, it was even before that, wake up at like eight, get a workout in, go to class at nine, 9.30, done at 12, quick lunch, one till three, and then run to the rink, get dressed and be ready by 4.35 for practice. And then five to about six, 6.30. And then I'd have like literally have to quickly shower, run, like run to the next class at like 6.30 to nine. And then I had homework till 12. Oh my God. Had That's to really a busy, yeah. busy, busy school life, busy hockey school life. Yeah. I, so hockey was a scholarship or was the, the, the art, the scholarship? Um, hockey was a scholarship, but I took, 
art. And you took art. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is too, aren't you like, like go, 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 go. And then you have to like focus, zoom into yeah. Yeah. life drawing. Yeah. Co coffee was my <laughs> best friend. Like that kept me alert. And uh, I hated the taste back then. And I, I just did it just to keep myself awake and like focused on the task at hand. But there was times where I had a studio with uh, a, another classmate of mine. She was a, kind of a sculptor, watercolorist. And we'd have like nights of just painting in our studio uh, till like three in the morning. And then I'd have to go to sleep and then wake up and do it all over again and go to practice. And yeah, yeah. I don't know how I did it back then. I just got through it. But yeah. yeah. Well, you're, that's, that's really cool. Cause you were, you, you were doing your two passions. Yeah. You were, you were playing with, with think with both um uh, things you love mm -hmm. yeah like you were doing, yeah so that's that's really cool yeah like so um would, do you have a favorite color oh um oh that's tough because i love all the colors but i'd have <laughs> to say like a really deep romantic blue uh, like, a, like, just like a Prussian blue. Like, it's just so deep and, and rich in color. Uh, Did you use it on that painting behind you? I actually didn't. Uh, maybe just a hint, but it was more yeah. of a uh, cerulean blue. Right, so, right. Yeah. And uh, well, you can see it's just like caked but um oh. <laughs> and the, the, can't even get the name yeah cerulean blue hue and just like more more black white grays yeah. and then got into the skin but right. um how did you yeah, make just the skin break. color uh it was really cool um my teacher in Oswego, he taught me how to make skin tone without using flesh tone paint. And so, you know, you had your, I gotta go, I gotta read them because I gotta go find them again. But it's like your, one sec. <laughs> <laughs> Cadmium yeah, red. Yeah, you got your. Titanium white. Yeah, actually, I, I, it was crazy because he mixed you mix Viridian Hue Green. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then you've yeah. got your, you got your little bit of magenta and then right. your, burnt, your burnt sienna in there. Um, right. A little bit of Naples yellow just for, just to, you know, make it opaque. But then Alzerian Crimson is like, you're good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For so sure. Just to, for sure. Yeah. Just to see all those colors mixed together and then get a little bit of orange, try to try to figure out the lighting of the skin tone in each little like space, you know. And then you yeah. then cover it like that with like the silk, right? After it's done and right. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, so you do have that she's wearing a silk dress. Yeah. And, and yeah, she's like sort of baby. swimming in water, right? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Again, I say it again in, in, in good. It's good yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I love it. I love it. When you showed me that on, on Instagram, or when you posted it on Instagram, yeah. Yeah. I just said, I have to have Mike. Yeah. <laughs> I have to have Mike as yeah. my guest because <laughs> I, yeah. I want to know more about it. Yeah. 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 That's no, great. Okay. It was it was a fun project to do like a more realistic painting, but uh, like again, like most of my stuff is very abstract or very like crazy energetic, and this is more sensual, realistic. Are you gonna just focus on that for now? Like, give yourself yeah. time, like this year, yeah. to just focus on your figurative work? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. I talked to. Um, 
a gallery here in, in Toronto and he said, you're good, uh, but you're not great. Uh, I want you instead of mass producing and pumping out work like you, you look like you have been doing, I want you to take time a year or two and really hone your skills and focus on five good works. He's like, if wow. you can make them amazing, you will get noticed more. Um, just because of the fact that there's more depth, there's more quality in the work. Right. Um, yeah. He said, you're, you're, you're pushing for quantity and, right. you know, and people that know art will see it. Yeah. Said, Let's yeah. get into you actually getting the quality in each, you know, inch, each right. to do yeah. it. So, yeah. and that's where your work, that's where your work comes into play. Like every inch there's just, <laughs> there's some, so, some magic in it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Oh, you. Your, you gotta get to your level of quality work. So. <laughs> Go <Yeah>. on. <laughs> oh, what is your favorite tool? Uh, I, aside I, from the brush. Aside from the brush, uh, yeah. actually, my finger. We'll go to the brush after. Yeah, actually, my finger. Ah. Uh, I forget what okay. artist said. There's more sensitivity in your finger than there is in any other uh, brush or tool because you lose that connection, right? It's right. a live connection from your brain to your finger, and then it's material after that. So there's a disconnect. So wow, yeah, I forget what artist said that, but like you need to understand. It's true though. Yeah. So, yeah, and I, I know like a good friend of mine, her name is Wendy Birmingham. She uses her finger a lot to yeah. do marks of branches. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it just gives you that connection right away. And your finger yeah. just, just goes where it should go, right? Instead of <laughs> translating what you're thinking onto the brush that right. goes to the canvas, you're, yeah. you're immediately putting that line the translation is quicker. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. you get to kind of gauge how much pressure or tension you put on the stroke or the, the, the smudge or blending with your finger rather with a knife or anything else like that. That's so, right. Yeah. yeah. So what is your favorite brush now that we've talked about? Oh, yeah. Um, I've got, I love the Catalyst. Uh, oh. My friend. <laughs> Them. yeah, those are yeah i use that too you you use those yeah aren't they amazing i like, use the, the princeton line yeah yeah the princeton the line is line. just amazing to me like the way they made that that certain brush it, the, the stroke is just so smooth and you're like yeah like so i gotta buy more and they're always out it's just what you need it's just that what yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my where do you buy Every, your paint supplies now? Uh, yeah, I actually, I'm, I, I'm actually an influencer for Desires, and so. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so Desires supplies me uh, with a couple things here and there to try out and test, and then uh, show to people. And but yeah. uh, I, I, I swear by Desires. You know, their their quality of canvas is really good. Their Apollon series uh, that they carry. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, I love, I love their their brushes as well, well and, and their paints. So yeah, no, Desires is like my go-to. So yeah, well, well, I'll go to Korea. They actually yeah. supply, they supplied uh, the paint for the Canadian um, Landscape Artist yes. of the Year. So I got yes, this Desires yeah. paint there. Yeah. Yeah. That's and, actually. Uh, oh, it, that's it, actually Sorry. Um, that's how you that's got to that that I, paint party. Yeah. yeah. They sent me an invite. The Sarah like, told hey, you to go what? there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go. They're like, okay, people. wear your paint oh. pants and say your description. Yeah. Oh. Meanwhile, all of a sudden, we had to paint from up in the CN Tower. Yeah. Yeah. But no, we've got aprons. Here you go. Yes. Yeah. They with everything and I was like all right I'll just wear my stuff like it was so good I think I lost you no I still can I still yeah 
So I'll show you. Yeah. Um, still there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. No, because you came in your paint pants, didn't you? Yes, you came in my paint pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got paint pants that are crazy. That paint so. pants is not for sale, right? Uh, actually, <laughs> no, they're all for sale. I've actually <laughs> had, yeah, I've, I've sold a couple and, and donated them. Yeah, oh yeah. I had like a live oh, auction my... painting one day and I, the painting uh, uh, sold for a high price, but then like the girl wanted the, the pants with it. So the, I threw in the pants and the bid was higher. <laughs> it was really cool. <laughs> You know, like. Oh, that's too funny. So this one here, I just finished yes. this. Oh, amazing. Oh, I love so that. So this is a commission piece. Nice. I love the colors. Thank you. That's amazing. I love the green and the teal and the orange. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's really like, <laughs> really fire. I like a lot of energy. Thank you. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I hope the the one who commissioned me to do that will be very happy. Yes. Because I was very sure. happy to paint it for her. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Like they'll be pleased. Like that looks like a, a really good painting. Yeah. Thank so you. How, did, how did you know you had the ability to paint? Like, how did you figure out in your like, you know your years of discovery of like, yeah, just, or did you always have the ability and you just knew what you were going to do? So I've been painting pretty much. Um, well, I've, I've always loved to draw as, as a kid, yeah. always loved to draw, always loved art. Art was my favorite subject. Yeah. So it was always there and I always took art whenever I can, but yeah. I, I did take up a business course. So I graduated with a, a degree in economics Oh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, I was in the corporate world for about twenty five years, so I'm really aging myself now. And you're kind of getting to to get an idea of how old I am, Michael. <laughs> so thirty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> lovely, yeah. lovely, lovely indeed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and then after that, uh, I was in the corporate world, and uh, but I would always paint because paint ga painting gave me joy. Yeah. And then um, I just knew I had to get into it somehow. And yeah. the the world opened up when I got let go. Yes. Um, a downsizing and all that wonderful stuff happened. And I just, uh, just you know, gave a really good um, intention to, to um, the universe and um, prayed a lot. Yes. And um, just just went deep. Uh, yeah. And and my husband said, why don't you just uh, try and see if you can, you know, paint or, or teach art and see what happens. So I joined an art group in Oshawa and then I applied at Curry's Art Store in Whitby. Right. That is a and great And then spot. I got hired and then I started teaching there. Wow. And that was over 20 years ago now. That's amazing. Yeah. Really and then from there, I just started teaching and then started showing my work. And, and there you go. That's amazing. That's so yeah. cool. And I knew it was, it, I knew I was where I was supposed to be. And I, I have no regrets because I've Isn't learned a lot through yeah. my years in the corporate world. And now I'm, I, this is where I should be. It, yeah. This is this is my my space, yeah. like you, where you're yeah. supposed to be, right? Yes, yes. And it's, it's crazy how upsetting it is at the moment you're in it, but then after you're looking back, you're like, no, like I found myself. This is where I'm supposed to be, and I'm happy, like truly happy, inside and out, doing my own thing. And yeah, you're you're so right. Like yeah. Yeah, and this is where, and I know I am being my true self in what I'm doing now. Yeah, that's amazing.
That's yeah, so and so I'm really blessed. I'm yeah. so blessed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, Mike, it's almost time to go. Um, okay. Instagram Live only gives you, yeah. what, 45 to 50 minutes to an hour, yeah. but I don't want to get cut off. So yeah. I just wanted to to thank you again for being my guest and to see you again. Yeah, I know. It's, it's been, good to see you. Thanks for yeah, having me. It's been a while. I know. It's yeah. crazy. And, um, wow. And I, I'm going to see if I can download this Instagram and, and maybe send you the link. But uh, you'll be Great. able to see it on my Instagram live. I don't know if I could share it to you. I'm not sure how this goes. But uh, um, we'll figure something out. Okay. So good to see you. You have your, you have your YouTube channel. I subscribed today. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm, Are you I'm, keeping that active? I'm trying to keep it active. It's way tougher than Instagram, as you know. Like it's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of editing, a lot of a lot of work behind. Yeah. Movie like that. You have to stuff. subscribe to my YouTube channel too. Oh, well, I will. I will find that right now. So, and Yay! Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, videos are more susceptible for the mind to actually like discover how to paint. Where like Instagram's like, boom, this is what I did. You know, <laughs> it's a quick, <laughs> it's a quick, like, it's a quick, instant way to get it out there, right? Exactly. With, while in YouTube, you have to do all your editing and overdubbing. It's post production, right? It's more, more, uh, more intense. <laughs> yeah, it drives me nuts actually. Yeah. Like. Uh, Instagram, you're like, oh, yeah. take a picture, and then just throw like it post. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good thirty minutes. Well, I'm thank done. you so much. No problem. Thank you so good. much, Mike. All right, take care, you take guys. Take care. Yeah. Be good. Thank yeah, you guys for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you. All right. Bye. See you later. Take care. Bye. Bye.